Today we're taking a look at Sharp Pen Software 3.6 on the 4K Aquas Board Interactive Display System. This is whiteboard mode and this is the square menu. Let's start by using Pen 1. Now if you tap on Pen 1, you can choose from different pen tips like a pen, brush, highlighter, figure pen. We're just going to use the plain old pen in the color black. So let's start by writing with our touch pen. We could write the word sharp, or we can erase it with our hands. Or this time, let's say I don't want to use my pen, I want to use my finger. So I'm going to write the word sharp with um, my finger. I'm going to use the touch pen and tap the selection tool, select the word, and convert it to text. Now if I select the word again, you see that just as before I had the ability to cut, to copy, duplicate the word right here very quickly. I could delete it. I can um, rotate it. Let's rotate it left. And then maybe we'll undo that by going into our square menu. And I could send it to a web search. Now I could send it to Google or Wikipedia. So if we send it to Google, let's see how that works. One more time, here we go. Now as you see, Google has opened the screen right away and I could go and look up the Sharp website. Now how can you use pen software in your day-to-day -day life? So let's say you have a presentation you have to create. I can go ahead and open an image file by selecting insert image from an image file. And here I'm gonna be working on a slide for a hospital. So I have an image that I'm gonna be working with. I can move the image to the center of the screen. Now this is what we call the navigation window. This is available in the newest versions of Pen Software. You could just use it to zoom in or move around uh, your canvas or you could zoom back out or you can uh, X out of that and not use it at all. But let's go ahead and start annotating on this image. So I'll go back to pen, choose the color black, and I want to talk about this hospital. I want to talk about the name. So I'm going to say, okay, it's called New Vale. And, um, you know, I want to think about different phrases. So maybe someone in my team will come up to this board and they'll tap the button right here and change the color to red. And they'll say, okay, now I want to write something like putting you first. So maybe this is one of the catchphrases that we have. And someone else might come up to the board and say, okay, well, I want to write in blue and I want to talk about how caring our staff is. And the more we talk about it, you know, maybe we want to talk about the people in the, in the photo, about each of the staff members, about um, objects in the photo. And then maybe we want to save this and share it with our team. The wonderful thing about Pen Software is that it saves to different types of files. You can tap the save icon and save it to a Pen Software file, or you could save it as a PDF or as an image. So let's go ahead and save it as a PDF. We'll pick um, just my computer, or I'm sorry, my documents, and save this image, this work, as a PDF. We'll, we'll hit save. And now if we go into my documents, okay, and we'll go to my documents. We see here that our work was saved as a PDF. Now I can send this to everyone in my team and, and then we can go back, regroup, work on this together or send it to one person to type up or design, right? Maybe this is going to our designer now and he or she is going to turn it into something amazing, right? So fast forward, <laughs> let's pretend that our designer or whoever is working on this project made a PowerPoint presentation about this hospital. And they actually decided, okay, we're going to have little 
blurbs for each slide, and this is the image that we were working on, and now it exists as this PowerPoint. The beautiful thing about Penn software is that it works in conjunction with PowerPoint. For instance, if you start the slideshow from the beginning, Penn software appears right here as this little toolbar, and it lets you advance your slides from the top, from the front of the screen, or you can use the touch pen as a pointer to advance, okay? You can also use the pen tool here, and it has different colors, to make annotations. So for instance, let's say I want to make a circle around all the technology in this photograph, I could say, well, you know, our waiting rooms are different now. We now have charging stations for people who bring their, um, you know, iPads, or laptops, smartphones. We're trying to get uh, the hospital up to, you know, the standards of the 21st century. Now I can j toggle between PowerPoint and go back to Penn Software and say, okay, well, we want to talk about technology. I'll just write tech, right? Or I can open up a new page in Penn Software and talk more about, you know, smartphones. I'll just write smart for, for smartphones. And now let's go back to our um, presentation. So let's go back. And now let's say we want to go forward. I'll use my pen again to move forward. All right, and I, I have some annotations here and I'll talk about this lady and, and what she's holding here and perhaps what's in the back of this photo. And let's say I've decided, okay, I have enough annotations. I want to close this presentation. I'm going to tap on the icon on the very end and Pen Software and PowerPoint actually is going to ask me, will you want to keep your ink annotations? And I'll say keep. And you'll see that my annotations appear in PowerPoint and I can save them here for future use. So now let's go back to our um, pen software uh, whiteboard screen and there's another thing that I can show you. Now when you're in whiteboard mode you can tap on this icon on the bottom right of the screen. Here you can choose overlay mode. Overlay mode works like a transparency. It lets you annotate on anything that you have behind your whiteboard uh, function. So for instance, this PDF is right behind the screen. If you had any kind of software, um, sometimes uh, different companies have maps up on the screen, they have their own website on the screen, uh, a specific software, a design software. In this case, I have a PDF here and you see that I can annotate on this screen using pen software. So I could say about, okay, I have base production here. We want to talk about this. Actually, I'm going to use the figure pen to uh, make a square uh, around this area. Then I can go into the pages icon, tap on the pages sheet setup, okay? And you see my page is now captured here as a screenshot. And I'll just minimize this. Now, if I open up a new page, you'll see that my annotations have disappeared. If I go back, I can go back to them. But let's go to page two. And I'll minimize overlay mode and zoom in a little bit. Now, let's say I want to annotate on this screen. I'm going to pick a different pen. Let's pick pen two and pick the color red. I can annotate here and now save this screen as well. Show captured desktop image. And you see I have two images saved. And let's just erase this, okay. You'll see I have page one and page two. And just as before, I can go ahead and save this as a PDF and send it to my team.
Now the great thing about the Sharp Aquasport interactive display system is that when you're not using Penn software, you can use the board for digital signage. Here's our software from Sharp. And if you see here, I've created a presentation using the hospital theme that we had before to create signage that I can play in my hospital during the day when no one is using this board. You have a directory, news, um, weather, and a video playing in the background. Now as you see, the news changes, and in a moment here when the video is finished, you'll see um, the slides that we created earlier. This is a wonderful way to use your product in various spaces and not just for collaboration. As you can see, Sharp Pen software is a wonderful tool that helps you collaborate between whiteboard mode, PowerPoint, PDFs, overlay mode, and digital signage software. Thank you very much for watching today. For more information, please visit sharpusa.com.